we are hitting the road. It is 9.20. 9.20. All right. We got to hustle. Um, we are headed to the Simplicity office, which isn't far from where we're staying, so not that big of a deal. Um, like I said last night, I'm not sure if they're going to let me film or what they'll let me film. I'll get as much as they possibly will let me so you guys can see what's going on over there. And then the plan after that is to hit up one or two more fabric stores depending on how much time we have. Um, and then we'll be heading uptown, or is it downtown? Up. Uptown to the Met Museum to check out those exhibits, get some lunch, and we'll probably spend the rest of the day there. So, I'm excited. Okay, elevator's here, bye. So these are all your pattern testers and pattern yep, sewers. Okay. Nice space for that, actually, yeah. considering yeah, it's the yeah. city. Mm -hmm. Hi, Deb. Hi. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Everything from 1930 on. Oh, wow. I see the dates now. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Very cool. So this is our merch library. So this is kind of where they come up with the concepting and trends and we kind of track what's doing really well and all these walls and not doing so well. It's all the old yep. Joanne catalogs. Yep. <laughs> One day they'll be Super in that drawers cool. too. And what was the like reasoning? They did they do it just for the wall or? Um, it's actually an art piece. Yeah. So I guess they just needed some decoration for the wall, and we have the quilting, easy quilting, as part of us. Well, proof that it has to be easy. <laughs> the vintage girls out there. Oh, hi Amber, <laughs> you're in the reflection. <laughs> 1930. Look how little the pattern was. That's like basically a postcard. 15 cents. Look how cute this little notion cabinet is. It's like all vintage stuff in there. Look at that tracing wheel. Okay, so we've actually hit a bit of a rut. Um, we went to, oh my gosh, Amber, this is what we're going through. It's all falling. Um, we went to New York Elegant Fabrics, which is supposed to be like one of the largest. Is that right? But we were feeling very like basic, like everything was like a solid color, kind of expensive for what we were shopping for. So we didn't get anything there. And then we went to Butterfly Fabrics and that was just chaotic. They were working on some kind of wholesale something and there was like, I don't know, just not feeling the love. So we walked across the street to this place that is lovingly called Janky Store. I don't know if that's actually the name of it or not. I'm assuming it's not. Um, and already have found a couple of brocades that I really like. A material world. Oh, it's called It's a Material World, AKA Janky Store. Um, already found a couple of brocades that I really like. I'm thinking about making like circle skirt or pleated skirt and then like dress it down with white cotton tank top or white button up shirt or something like that so but this is it if you want to see inside we did not go here last year this was recommended to us by a lot of the girls at the um social hour last night so i have a feeling we'll find a few things here that we like the prices are really good so that helps so update 
we are not in janky store anymore because this huge fight broke out like i'm not even kidding i'm not being dramatic this man came in and started screaming at one of the workers saying that he was there yesterday working and that they never paid him and he was insisting that they give him his money and he was threatening to call the police and they were screaming like screaming and he was threatening to like physically hurt him so we decided that no fabric trip was worth potentially getting injured <laughs> or having to become witnesses to some kind of assault so we left and we came a couple stores down to a place called I forget. I don't think we're gonna get anything here though. We're kind of just like fabric garden, fabrics garden. Yeah, that's what it is. Anyways, just kind of trying to like get away from the other situation. So I think we might leave here and head uptown toward the Met now. Um, but yeah, it was a little crazy and kind of scary. And I felt bad for the man that worked yesterday and didn't get paid, but. If there's no receipt, no proof of payment, they're both wrong. So I don't know how they're going to sort that one out without calling the police and filing a report or something. But very dramatic. Very, very dramatic. So I will keep you posted. Guess where we made it? To the Met Museum. The famous steps of the Met where many a celebrity and fashion icon and I don't know, models have all walked up these steps um, as part of the Met Gala. So we're headed up inside. We're gonna take a look at the exhibits and bring you along with us. You gonna walk the steps with me? They actually look a lot shorter in person. I thought that there would be like, I don't know, like double this amount of steps. But still really cool. Maybe there's another entrance. Who knows? New Yorkers, is this the same entrance as the Met Gala? All right, let us go buy our tickets.
so we are still at the mat. Um, we came up to the terrace garden bar to take in the skyline. It's beautiful up here. But we finished up the Heavenly Bodies exhibit. It was pretty awesome. What did you think, Amber? Oh, sorry. She's busy um, taking a whatever those really long ones are. <laughs> Anyways, it was quite an experience. I obviously inserted a bunch of little videos in here so you guys could see. Um, the music made it feel very like experiential and the dresses were awesome. Really cool to see them up close and I really feel like they made like a whole like event of it. You know, it was like the music and the lights and the everything. It was really, really neat. So it was really good. So we'll go grab a snack. If there's anything interesting in the textile exhibit, I'll share with you guys too. Hello! It has been several hours <laughs> since I last checked in. Obviously it's nighttime. I'm in my sewing pajamas. Honestly, ready to go to sleep. It's been a long day. We clocked almost seven miles walking today. It was nuts. But we ended up leaving the museum, got a little snack, went and checked out a little smaller exhibit about weaving, left the museum, went hung out at a Starbucks, went and checked out an Ann Taylor loft, or is it just called loft now, then walked to meet a few friends for dinner. Um, so I'm not sure if you know any of them from Instagram. I have a hard time remembering that all their Instagram names, but, um, we just had a dinner with some internet sewing friends and it was a lot of fun. Uh, the weather was turning quickly. So we got our dinner and then took it up to one of the girls apartments. So that was a lot of fun because I got to like, you know, really experience a New York city apartment life and what it was like. And checking out all the storage options and how they just try and make things work with what they have um so that was really cool it reminded me of when i lived in that little apartment who remembers that it was like 560 square feet i lived there for like three years and sewed from there the whole time so it felt very nostalgic in a way um but yeah and then we just came back after after dinner and good girl chat and you know, soul filling conversation. Um, so we are back at the hotel now, really ready to go to sleep. Um, we don't have a single thing on the agenda tomorrow other than shopping. Um, and I don't have a fabric haul because I didn't buy any fabric today. So hopefully I'll make up that, make up for that tomorrow. Um, but the plan is just to do some fabric shopping um to go down to the fit museum do some shopping in that neighborhood so we will see it'll be another long day taking you along with me of course so i'll see you guys in the morning good night